Martin, uh, Upper House MLC for the uh, opposition, Mark Buttigieg. Good morning. G'day, how are you, Pecky? Oh, look, mate, I've never seen a bride, to be totally honest. We're heading into the festive season, and it's it's all jolly at this particular stage, I think. I'm not it sure. Is, yeah. And we're trying to nice figure out... Nice. Well, we're trying nice to... Know we're getting a bit of freedom, finally. Yeah, trying to figure out what the new normal is. That's the problem. Exactly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, listen, you've had a... You've had, you've got, you have to say, uh, just in summing up the year to a certain extent, Mark, you've had a very busy year in the Upper House, haven't you? It's been very busy, Peggy. Well, I, I suppose what a lot of people don't realise is, is that uh, a lot of the action happens up there because the government needs to work with us cooperatively because we control the numbers there often with the crossbenchers, so with the Greens, the Shooters and Fishers and even One Nation at times, Animal Justice, they don't always get their own way, so they've got to play ball with us. So we actually get some quite good reforms through up there. Yeah. Now, last week was an, an important one because electricity was discussed and it was a marathon, wasn't it? It was a marathon. I think we ended up sitting somewhere in the order of 30 to 35 hours. Um, it was the Electricity and Infrastructure Bill, which is basically a bill that encourages private sector investment in what they call renewable energy zones. So the idea is you have a reverse option and uh, private sector bids for solar and wind and that sort of renewable energy to plug into the grid and it's to encourage renewables and renewable energy and create jobs. We moved quite a few amendments that would ensure that uh, we had local production of inputs like steel and components and uh, create creating local jobs. But one one thing we, we weren't successful in doing, which I do want to point out, is um, getting uh, the Lithgow and Bathurst region as a uh, renewable energy zone and that's something we want to we want to continue to lobby for to get it included in the legislation because that's very important for job stimulation in the area. Yeah, yeah. 2021 is going to be a very important year. Number one in recovery from ho hopefully the COVID uh, and hopefully there's some sort of vaccine out there at the moment although there's a little bit of cloud over that at the moment. But anyhow, that's beside the point. Uh, so it's going to be an important year, isn't it? It certainly is, um, and whilst you're on that subject of, uh, of uh, the vaccine and health, I do want to point out to, to all the residents of the Central West, we've got a parliamentary inquiry which winds up on the 13th of December next week, and it's looking into rural and regional health and the disparity between the, the regions and, and rural areas and the city and issues that people may have experienced. These are systemic issues with the health system. Uh, it's considering health outcomes for people living in rural and uh, regional areas, access and availability of services, planning systems, capital and recurrent uh, expenditure and staffing challenges. Those submissions close on the 13th and it's very, very important that if we've got doctors, nurses, allied health workers out there and indeed members of the public, if people have experiences or issues with the health system, very important they make a submission. I'm happy for people to contact me, my office directly, and we'll help you with that. But it closes, uh, as I say, next week on the 13th. It's an inquiry that Labor were pushing for. And these inquiries can be very important because they harvest information about what's going on in the real world. And then we try and uh, fix it up with legislation in the House and, and lobby the government to get it fixed up. So because, I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, I would be right in saying that very often, you know, problems that are, as you said, systemic in the uh, industry, um, uh, you know, politicians aren't aware of all of it. I mean, you know, they can't be, both sides of the House can't be across all of it, can you? So therefore, these, these inquiries are very important. They are very important, and it's very important that we talk to the right people. So real people on the ground who are experiencing what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis on a practical level, and that's why uh, it's very important that if people are, well, number one, aware of the inquiry, that's why I wanted to take the opportunity on your program to let people know this inquiry is happening and the submissions close on the 13th okay. so that we can get some good quality data. For example, I understand that if you get a fractured, uh, a bone fracture, You've got to travel up to sometimes travel up to Orange Base Hospital to get it fixed up, and there's massive delay. That's sort. That's the sort of they're the sort of practical examples we're after. So yeah. I encourage people to to get in touch with my office. Now so get in touch with your office. How do they do that, Mark? What's the best way to do that? Look, the easiest way is to just simply email um, email my office. That's Mark dot at Parliament dot nsw dot gov dot au. If you can't remember that. Just jump on the parliamentary website, New South Wales Parliament. I've got all my contact details there, my office email, 
my staff will solicit all the uh, inquiries and the submissions and we'll get it organised for you and help you through it. I'd like to talk to you actually, probably in the new year now, uh, about uh, the inquiry and how it's been received and what's happening there. If that's Absolutely. okay, sir. We'll follow that up, Peggy. That'd be great. Good on you, yeah. mate. Compliments of the season to you and uh, hope you have a wonderful uh, Christmas period and New Year period and we'll talk next year. Mm -hmm. You too, mate. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to, to everyone in the region and, uh, and I hope, uh, let's hope 2021 is a, a lot easier year for us than 2021. <laughs> we're, mate, we're looking Thanks, for mate. the, we're looking for the new normal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks, mate. Talk to you later. Thanks, All right. See you, mate. There we go. There's Mark Buttigieg and of course he's MLC, opposition MLC in the upper house of New South Wales Parliament.